Hello there. This is Cookies. And a few days ago, I put out a short little clip. It was uh, my little Dark Elf army fighting a, an army of orcs. And I've finally gone and sat on the capital for a set of orcs. So I've got a lot of the free spawn that you get in this mod as the Dark Elves if you set up your Beastmasters. So I've got them, including a lot of these. So then I've got a smaller core of more elite troops. Uh, these guys are not elite troops, these are just troops. So we've got some shades mixed in with some dark shards, and we've got a number of black guard. So kind of like the, the elite of the army, so to speak. And then back here, we actually brought some light mage support. I was really struggling earlier in the game to get research, and a lot of my mages were getting assassinated through the assassination mechanic. I got pretty unlucky. And then I've also brought my pretender, vampire queen, which I, this is a D and D reference for those who enjoy that. So the, the chassis isn't the reference, but just the name. Let's see. So we've got a few things on the orc side. We've got their pretender. So, Water 5, Death 9. Of course, no gems and no gear because it's the AI. And then we've got a couple of cool Orc Greek Shamans who have a Fear 10 aura, which can be uh, pretty intense, along with the Fear 9 aura on the Pretender. So, I imagine we're going to have some morale problems, and then the Orcish units tend to be a little bit higher quality than the Dark Elf units. Especially these uh, black orcs. Um, not maybe not more than the, the black guard, but eh, somewhat comparable. They they have more HP than the black guard. The elves in this do not have a lot of HP. Typically, it's eight. These guys are bigger and stronger, but still only ten. So, and then. Uh, Got some attack rear harpies, but yeah, I hope you enjoy. I'll stop talking now, and we can watch the battle. I'll probably do it in two parts, maybe. Um, I might go back and forth. I'll just go back and forth. All right. 